By way of review, uh, in the videos below, uh, we'll be discussing topics like uh, login and setup. One of the requests we have is to have a two-step process for setups. Uh, the people that do collections are not necessarily the people that need to see the expenditure or the checkbook side of the application. Uh, and so it requires a second level password uh, to do that. We'll also be looking at the membership module. The membership module has a new feature now. One click will determine whether or not that person will receive a year-end report. Uh, this is beneficial if you have children that you're adding to your membership roles or inconsistent members that will not receive a year-end report. Um, we'll be looking at the collections process. The collection process is very important, very simple interface. Uh, you want to be able to go back and review any service at any time. Uh, this is so different from what you receive through um, Excel spreadsheets when you can't find a particular uh, service that you're looking for, or the complicated uh, out-of-the-box softwares that doesn't allow you to go back uh, and, and actually find the particular data you're looking for. We'll look at the checkbook. The checkbook itself uh, is just a running total checkbook, but it effectively allows you uh, then to report on your quarterly uh, and your uh, year-end statements to your church. Um, we'll be looking at the year-end process. The year-end process is a two-step process. One button you click your labels. The other process you will click a, a detail or either a summary report uh, for your practitioners uh, to um, do their taxes at the end of the year. Uh, we'll also be looking at attendance. Attendance has had an upgrade. Not only can you now, uh, by group, um, determine the numbers of people coming in, it also has a check-in for daycare and vacation Bible school and other organizations that you might have and need to track. There is a financial side to the, pro to the program as well where you group your assets and your incomes and uh, your other liabilities uh, and arrive at a balance sheet. Uh, the newsletter itself has had an upgrade. Take a look at that. Uh, you can more effectively communicate what your groups are doing uh, throughout the church. Uh, and uh, also birthdays has had an upgrade. Uh, birthdays are a good way to reach out to people when you haven't seen them in a while and just say, hey, we love you where you're at. Um, happy birthday. Uh, and the minutes uh, module is a way to track your meetings um, and the topics that are discussed and to be able to recall those topics and to keep those topics in a uniform way. And then all of this is rolled into a reports module where you're able to get some reports uh, or, or in the modules themselves, other reports uh, are all found in the reports module. Uh, also, uh, employees is something that you want to track to the amount of deductions that are taken out and what you're giving to employees. Um, is another way, is another great benefit of this program. For more information, just go to churchbooks3.com. We'll see you there.